to tell me how delicious it is because you know this is about to be delicious because your boy chef bastard made it yeah. yo good morning bastards and welcome back to my channel guys today is tuesday wednesday for y'all but tuesday for me and i'm off today so we're gonna try to find something cool to do. I don't know, maybe do another cooking video. You guys seem to enjoy that, so we might do some more cooking today. But right now, we're gonna go have some lunch with my boy Gus. You guys know Gus, Gus the Savage. I'm gonna go drive up to Capel. We're gonna go eat lunch at some deli or whatever. See what's up with the homie, you know. He really missed out yesterday with the throwing balloons at Leo. Oh, and by the way, if you guys didn't see yesterday's vlog, go watch it, leave a like, come back, leave a like. <laughs> And if you're new here, I'm Justin, we're the bastards, you guys, me, we're the bastards, and we're lit every day, so go subscribe, join the bastards, and let's just get the day started, shall we? We are back in the nameless car, guys, speaking of nameless car, I've seen some of your comments, some of you are suggesting different names for the car, and some of them are, uh, and some of them are like, ooh, you know, like, I saw one uh, called the Bastard Mobile. That one could be cool. You guys let me know what you think about that one. I didn't come up with it. One of you bastards did, so let me know what you think of that one. And um, yeah, if you got any more suggestions, leave it down in the comments box. I'll be reading all of them. And guys, make sure you comment. You know, I read all comments, um, so just comment, you know, whatever you want to say, and I'll make sure if you have a question, I'll reply to you. Let's see Walmart there out in the distance. It's our destination right there. So fun fact, the past three Walmarts I've been to have all been different. <laughs> There's so many Walmarts here, it's crazy. Mm. Shout out to Del Rio. All the way up here in Dallas, it's pretty lit. Alright, so I just picked up everything, all the ingredients, um, I don't even know why I'm trying to keep it a secret, like, you guys already read the title, that's why you clicked the video, uh, so I'm making a, uh, Tres Leches cake, and if you don't know what that is, it's just like, um, it's, it, well, the literal translation is three milk cake, and that's basically what it is, it's just like a really nice sweet cake, and it's nice and creamy, and got some, you know, you're just gonna have to watch and see how I make it. Change of plans with lunch, Gus got a hold of me, said he couldn't make it, so that kind of sucks, but it's alright, can't be mad at him, plans change here and there, we're still gonna have a good day, right now, probably just gonna head home, get these groceries in, cool them down, make sure nothing spoils or anything, and probably just make some lunch at home, you know, just chill out and then later on make this dessert. So let's go do that now. All right, what's up everyone? A little time has gone by, and now it is time for the second segment of Cooking with Chef Bastard. That's right, and I already told you guys that today we're baking. I, I bet y'all didn't think I was a baker, y'all just thought I was a cook. Well, guess what? Yeah, boy's a baker. So today we're gonna be making, like I said, a thrust lettuce cake, and if you don't know what that is, well, go look it up, because I'm not gonna explain it. But anyway, the ingredients for today, you're gonna need some vanilla extract, some sugar, some baking powder, some evaporated milk, some sweetened condensed milk, some whole milk, some heavy whipping cream. We got a lot of liquids going in this cake and you need some eggs and you're gonna need that flour too. So to start off this masterpiece, you're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So go ahead and do that. There we go, gotta hit bake again. Right. But anyways, while that's heating up, we're gonna start our cake mixture, okay? So to start this, you're gonna need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Here's a cup, here's a half. And you're also going to need a teaspoon of baking powder. You're gonna put those two things, the flour and the baking powder, into a mixing bowl and just give that a nice little stir, just to get that mixed in together. I'll get half a cup of unsalted butter, put it on the stove to melt. 
While you got your butter melting, you want to pour yourself a cup of sugar. Alright, you're going to put this into another mixing bowl. Make sure you keep it on your butter, you don't want it to burn, you just want it to melt. It's important that you make sure your butter does not brown. Like I said, you just want it to get melted, and then you add it in uh, with your sugar. And then you're going to mix this together until it's fluffy. If you stir this enough, it's going to look a little fluffy. You can go ahead and add your vanilla, your half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and your eggs. It's going to take five eggs. Now that you got your eggs added, you're just going to want to beat this really well. you've beaten that well for a little bit, you can go ahead and add your flour mixture. Now it's important, you don't just want to toss all of this in there at one time. You want to add it into stages. I like to do it in stages of three, you know, once and then stir it, another little bit, stir it, and then the rest and stir it. It's just, that way, it just, you know that you're getting a good mixture every time. You're not just adding it all at once and you may not mix it as well. So go ahead and do that in stages of three and add it to your, add your um, flour mixture to your butter mixture. And you, no, stay down. All right, so that is our cake batter. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in our nine by 13 inch baking pan. But don't forget to spray your pan before you put in the batter, because you don't want it to be sticky. really just make sure it's like an even plane. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this in our oven. And that's gonna bake for 30 minutes. So go ahead and set a timer for 30 minutes. And so while that's baking, right now we can make our mixture, our, our milk mixture. It's really, this part is probably the easiest part. You're just combining the three milks to put in to the cake. You don't really need anything special. Really, I'm just using this mixing bowl. You got two cups of whole milk. Down all that. One 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. Down all that. And then one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Down all that. And for the sweetened condensed milk, you want to make sure you get all of it out because it's kind of, it's really thick, and as if you can see in there, there's still some, so just get yourself a spatula and scrape all that goodness out. And just get yourself a little whisk. Just throw all this together. This part is literally the easiest. You don't need to mix it hard. You're just gonna feel, when you start mixing, you're gonna feel that sweetened condensed, that thick sweetened condensed milk right off the bat. So just give that a stir until it's really easy to stir. Just like that, it really doesn't take that long. And from here, you can put this in your fridge to keep it cool until it's ready to pour into the cake. So now the last part to finish off the cake, we're gonna wanna make our whipped topping. So for that, all you're gonna need is some heavy whipping cream, some sugar, and a little bit more of the vanilla extract. And it's really easy, guys. When What I like to do, I got this tip from my grandmother. She adds a little bit of already whipped topping to it and just makes it a little thicker so it's not all runny when it gets on the cake. So, shout out to my grandmother for that idea. But yeah, I'll show you guys how to make it right now. All right, one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream, another cup of sugar, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And again, we're gonna blend the hell out of this until it starts looking, you know, like a whipped cream. So here we go. Once you start getting a little thick and start looking like whipped cream or whipped topping, you can go ahead and add some spoonfuls of this. So just like boop. That'll probably be good. And keep on blending. 
And just like that, you got your very own homemade whip topping and tastes delicious. All right, all right, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. All right, so that's the timer for the cake, so we're gonna go ahead and pull that out. Now, this goes without saying, but some of you are kind of, so make sure you got some oven mitts or a flipping towel to take this bad boy out. Oh yeah. All right guys, so the cake came out. Before we just pour in our liquid, we're going to want to let this cool down a lot. Like, I'm talking like where you touch it and it's not even warm. So just let it, let it chill out for a little bit. But what we can do is we can poke the holes in so that the liquid has a place to go once we do it. So we can do that now. We don't have to wait. All right, so we got our holes poked in the cake. Now we just gotta let it cool down and then we can add our mixture and we can add our whipped topping on top. All right, peeps, so I've let this cool down for a good hour now, so it's like not warm at all. It's actually really, really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and pour in our um, milk mixture, and then we're gonna wanna find a place to put that in the refrigerator and let it just soak up. It's best if you let it soak up overnight, because um, that just gives it a good amount of time to completely soak up. Um, so we might actually do that. But I'll show you guys how to pour it in right now. All right, so we have our milk mixture here, and you're just gonna want to pour all of this into your cake. Now it's gonna look like it's overflowing, but it's okay because it's gonna soak up everywhere. Really, you just want to pour it all over the place. Now it looks like it's just way too much for it, but I'm telling you, this is all going to soak up into the cake, and it's gonna look great. Now you're gonna want to put this into the fridge and let it soak up. So, like I said, for the best results, you're gonna want to. Um, let it soak up overnight, but since for the sake of the video, we're just gonna give it about an hour We'll come back and we'll um, put our whipped topping on and we'll be done So see you guys in about another hour Alrighty peeps, so it's been about an hour and as you can see all that liquid is gone And so now we're just gonna go ahead and put our whipped topping on top and we're gonna be done I kind of I want to try it just to show you guys how delicious it is or just to tell you guys how delicious it is but I also want to take it to work too because I want them to tell me how delicious it is because you know this is about to be delicious because your boy Chef Bastard made it. Alright, so we're just about to whip this up and yeah, let's flip and do it. And that's it guys, oh my gosh. I'm dumb excited right now because, oh, I didn't tell you guys this, all right? But you know I have to, I gotta boost my ego a little bit. So this dessert, okay, hold on. Before that, I need to, I need to explain something, okay? So my family, we do this different food competition. We, we do it like every year and I put this cake. We, one year we did a dessert, right? So I put this cake in the competition a couple years ago, and it won. So that's just going to tell you how good this cake is. And uh, Aunt Michelle, if you're watching this, take notes. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's going to get mad. But anyways, guys, this is the cake. It's looking good. I, I'm, not, I'm still not sure if I'm going to actually take a bite out of it and try it. I think I feel like I have to just for the sake of the video. But it's just, it looks so nice, and I want to take it into work. I want them to try it out, but, um, yeah, guys, this has been Cooking with Chef Bastard. Let me know if y'all have any other suggestions for what you want me to cook or bake, because now you know your boy's a baker. Guys, and also, is you're going to want to keep this bad boy in the fridge when you're not eating it. Just keep it in the fridge, you know, because it keeps it nice and cool and moist. You just, just keep it in the fridge, right? Listen to me. All right, so thanks to Tristan, we have something written on the cake now. I decided to make it an apologetic cake for Leo, because you know what we after what we did to him yesterday, he deserves that. But it's not all for him. I'm just writing that because you know it's funny. But so, anyways, thanks to Tristan over there. 
<laughs> but anyways guys that's gonna go ahead and do it for today's vlog you guys saw the cake we're gonna get everyone's reaction tomorrow on how they enjoyed it I decided I'm not going to let anyone take a bite out of it tonight but tomorrow we will munch down on it shout out to Tristan for writing on it for me cuz you know my handwriting is crappy um, wrote sorry Leo I showed you guys but Again, it's not for Leo, it's just for laughs. If you enjoyed today's vlog, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And if you're new here, go down there, subscribe, join the family, join the bastards. Like you guys see, it. we out here cooking, doing pranks, and just having a good time. So go down there, subscribe, join the bastard family. And also, if you're subscribed, you'll be eligible for the 100 subscriber giveaway, guys. It's coming in close. 100 subscriber giving away a $25 Visa gift card once I reach 100 subscribers. So just be ready for that. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter at Just In Time Mario, and you'll be eligible for that. And that's gonna do it for today. I will see you bastards tomorrow. Yeah. You want to say something? No, it's not Why?